Hi everyone! In this video, we will cover how event statuses work in Triple Seat. An event status indicates what stage my events are at and should signify what action is needed to move it to the next status. It is important to update the status throughout the events process and important to note that the statuses will not automatically move along based on an action I've taken. They need to be manually updated by a Triple Seat user. Please keep in mind these statuses that I am going to cover are not customizable, meaning I cannot adjust the name or color. I am going to discuss the six available statuses and their definition. Prospect, tentative, definite, closed, lost, and waitlist. Typically, all events begin as leads in Triple Seat, either a lead that has come in off the Triple Seat lead form or has been added manually by my team. As a reminder, a lead is known as an inquiry. Leads do not show in the calendar or in my contact database. Because of this, I want to convert leads to events as soon as I can so that I can more easily track the lead on the calendar. Once a lead has been deemed viable or qualified by some sort of communication with the guest, it can now be converted into a prospect event, which will show on the calendar for me to manage. Prospect is the first status. A prospect event is an event in the beginning stages. This status is ideal for newly created events because it allows overlap. So I can have two events for the same date, time, area, both in prospect status, and there won't be any issue in doing so, as neither event has a hold on the calendar. Best practice would be to use this status to indicate I am working with the guest to secure this event, but the guest hasn't done anything to warrant a hold just yet. When I want to give an event a hold on my calendar, I would use the tentative status. I might use tentative status when I've requested a deposit be paid or a contract to be signed. It can be thought of as putting a tentative hold on the space while I wait for confirmation from the guest. These types of events cannot overlap to prevent any accidental double booking. When the guest signs the contract and or pays the deposit, I might move the status to definite. Whatever confirms for me that the event is definitely going to happen. Next up is the closed status. This status is used when the event has taken place, all documents have been updated based on the event, and all payments have been recorded. When there are no further edits to make on an event, it can be moved to closed. It is recommended to close events after everything is updated so that when I filter my calendar or events tab by their status, any closed events signify to me and my team that no further action needs to be taken on this event. This way, I know I can accurately report on this event and I don't need to collect any further payments. Finally, closing an event in Triple Seat will lock the event from edits by most other users in the system. The next status is lost. This status is used for when an event was canceled or was originally in another status, like prospect, definite, or tentative, and never took place. For example, maybe the contact canceled the event because they were not feeling well. When I move an event to this lost status, I am also able to record a lost reason. I am able to report on lost business and include the lost reasons. Best practice would be to set up the lost reasons as a drop-down list so that I can streamline my reporting results. Any admin user can manage this list in settings, preferences, drop-downs. Moving an event to lost also hides the event from the calendar view, so I won't be seeing lost events with my events that are happening on the calendar, which would look very messy. Finally is the last status, waitlist. This is an optional status. Not every venue will see this status as an option. This status can be enabled by a customer admin in settings, preferences. This is beneficial if there are two prospect events assigned on the same date, room, and time, and one needs to be moved forward to tentative. In order to move on to tentative, the other could be moved to waitlist. If the event we moved forward to tentative is ever moved to lost, the event that was on the waitlist will automatically move back to prospect and the owner of the event will be notified. A benefit of the waitlist status is that I can have discussions with the guest as well as create a proposal or contract for them to review while they are waiting to see if they will move forward. Next, 
I want to show the events page and how I can take a closer look at my events based on status. I can utilize this filter button to limit the statuses I am seeing. If I have Triple Seat Direct enabled, I will see a pending status. It is important to stay on top of editing the event and assigning it to the correct status to ensure not only everyone on my team is on the same page, but that users can proactively reach out as needed. For example, a user may take a look at all upcoming prospect events to see who needs another touch, or filter all of their definite events to identify which events still need their final payments collected. It is also important to note that definite and closed statuses are those events that populate the data on my dashboard, like the event forecast graph. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to the support team, support at tripleseat.com, or by clicking the help question button at the top right corner of any screen in Triple Seat.